Okay, good morning. Today is Friday. It is July 24th. So um, you should be pulling out your uh, math packets and I'm going to demonstrate how to do one of the pages. I will be posting answers to all of your pages today. So um, please make sure you check your answers and it should be very easy to check your answers because all you have to do is compare. Okay, so I'm going to continue with subtraction and it says find each difference and we know that difference means the answer to a subtraction problem. It says if the difference is 67, color the space green. So I'm going to get all my colors out while I'm reading them out. Um, it says if the difference is 8, color the space blue. So I'm going to take my blue out. If the difference is 69, color the space orange. And the last one says, if the difference is 79, color the space yellow. Okay, so I'm going to work out two problems for you, okay, guys? So I'm going to come here to this quadrilateral, right? So it looks like a kite. So it says 168 minus 89. 8 minus 9, that top number is lower than the bottom number, so I have to borrow. That 6 now becomes a 7. 8 becomes 18. 18 minus 9 is 9 because 9 and 9 are doubles, right, of 18. Okay, 7 minus 8 can't do that, so I have to borrow from the hundreds place. The 1 becomes a 0. My 7 now becomes 17. 17 minus 8 is 40. 7. Very good. Okay, so... 79, I'm going to color it, if it's 79, it gets colored yellow, so I'm just going to outline it, and I'll come back and color once I'm done all my math problems. You might like to color as you go. I like to color at the end, so I can just have a good time all at the end. Okay, then I'm going to do one of these problems here. Okay, it says 1 minus 4, I can't do that, so now my 1, oh, this one's a hard one, this, the 10 becomes a 0, and now my 1 becomes 11. So, what is 11 minus 4? 11 minus 4 is 7. Very good. Now, 0 minus 4. I'm going to have to regroup. So, the 100 becomes the 1, and the 100's place becomes a 0. The 10's place now becomes a 10. 10 minus 4 is going to be 6. What color am I using? 67. I'm going to use green. So, I'm coloring everything that's got the difference of 67 green. So I'm just going to outline this in green and then I will color once I'm done. Okay. All right. Several of you guys have sent me answers to your pages. So I will be posting pictures of your work on Class Dojo. Good job. Okay. You should be done your I am poem. If you're not, go ahead and finish that today and please ask your parents to send a picture of I am or maybe you're able to do it over Class Jojo, and I will be posting some of our um, best submissions, okay? All right, today for cursive, we are working on, I think, O through S. Yes, we are, O through S. So you want to go to your, it's like your fifth page. Ooh, S's are so fun, okay. O's are gonna be pretty easy. Remember, I want you to try to get at least four practices on each line okay o's and p's aren't going to be too bad q's won't the uppercase q won't be too bad either neither will the capital r okay so we've got some um easier letters today in my opinion all right so an o we're just going to do an o just like we would do a normal print but we're going to do a loop at the end okay so capital o going all the way from the top all the way to the bottom and then a little loop okay then with the lowercase, you always start with the hook and then over. All right, top, bottom, loop, okay, down from the bottom, halfway, hook over. Capital O, top, bottom, hook, lowercase o, halfway. This is my fourth one, so I don't have to do any more. All right, there we go, beautiful. Okay, our P's are very similar to our regular print P's. So we just got to add a little hook, and that's it. Now, lowercase P is similar to your print P's too. Hook, 
lowercase just like normal, do a little loop, and then back up. And they even put a tag up there. Okay, so here we go. Capital. There we go. Remember, the, the point is we don't want to lift our pencil, but if we need to make any corrections, because we're just starting to learn this, then you can do that, okay? And here's my fourth P. There we go. All right, beautiful. Okay, Q's are almost just like a regular print Q. All right, lowercase Q is a little different. you got to have your hook. Beautiful. Lowercase Q's are pretty. And one more. Top, very top, bottom. Loop. There we go. Kind of similar to a lowercase g. Okay, and an R is very similar to a print R. You want to do a little loop here all the way over. And then the lowercase R's are interesting. You want to do kind of a little divot right there, kind of bring it down. They're hard to write small. You want to try to keep them thin so you can fit everything. These letters are a little big that we're practicing here. Make sure you're hitting the top and the bottom lines with your capitals. With your lowercase, you always want to stay on that middle line, right? There you go. All right, and then we have one more S. S is one of my favorites. I love S. Okay, so an S is very different than a print S. All right, you've got to do a long slanted line, a loop, back down, and over. You really need to use that halfway line. It helps you a lot. Lowercase s, just like that. I think these feel the best. I like the smoothness of an s, but it does take a little practice. It does take a little practice. And that's okay. We're going to keep practicing our capitals all year, you guys. All year. You're always going to have some capitals practice. Okay, I went ahead and did five just because I really like an s. All right, so that's all your cursive for today. Your last item is, oh, what am I grateful for yesterday? Okay, so you know what I'm grateful for yesterday? I got to talk to a friend I hadn't talked to in a long time. We did a, um, a video call, talked to a friend. I got to catch up with one of my friends yesterday on video call. So uh, I can look back at my week and you know what I can say? I can say there was something great that happened every day. If you remember throughout the weekend, then go ahead and fill in like tomorrow. If you remember, come back and fill in yesterday's. Um, on Sunday, you can fill in what you're grateful for Saturday. If you forget to do this, then on Monday, I will remind you, but just try to remember something that you're super grateful for. Okay. All right, you guys, please make sure you get outside today. Spend some time outside. Um, try to read for 20 minutes. Do one thing at home to help your family and make sure that you are very kind to your brothers and sisters. I will see you at our Zoom on Monday. Have a great weekend, boys and girls. Bye.